you're about to watch me work on my car. I've got two seats that have been sitting in my garage for a while and last week I pulled out the old seats with the help of a YouTube video and then cleaned it up and then replaced them with some seats that were a little, little better condition than the ones that I had in there originally. So it's not my usual vlog today, but it's still, I think, um, fun. I had a good time. Of course, last Friday, it was like 90 degrees, so I picked like a super hot and sweaty day to do it. So hope you don't mind seeing me drip sweat on the seats when I'm working. All right. I think it's time to replace these seats. I've had these seats for a while. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to get this um, battery cover off and disconnect the battery because there is a connector for the airbags underneath that seat. We don't want anything like that going off while we're doing this. All right. So, yep, Ooh, those are interesting. Twisted kind of smartly though, so you can get to them. That's an interesting little bit of engineering there. See how that's up in an angle facing me. Hmm. Nice. And, and I guess correctly. Waha! Turn those off. Oh. All right. So we've got this plastic piece right here, which is covering up the front of this. So we just need to get in here and whoops, slide that sucker off of there. And that then gives us access to this big old bolt. We'll do the same over on the other side and that'll be the front. And then we'll be able to tilt the seat up Unplug everything, swap them out. Oh, I gotta leave. One. be smart to get the bigger ratchet. <laughs> Much easier. And I'm gonna wanna and this forward. Slide it up. We've got two in the back that we'll have to get out of there as well. It'll let me. Oh man, these things don't want to go. All right, this is going to work one handed. So I'm going to slide it back. And then, of course, we're going to carefully lift it up. And you should be able to see the connectors that we need to take off. Lucky for me, there should be no doubt about how this goes, because in the seats that I got from the junkyard, the, they just cut the loom. So I still know exactly where everything is going to go, which should make my life pretty easy. And I am going to tell you right now that these things are not the easiest to get out because you kind of have to get to them and they have a top and a bottom, which actually makes it a little difficult. Not the worst though. My bad worse. And this one, I have no clue. All right. I'll figure that out off camera. All right. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was. It's just this little side one. I got to kind of give this a squeeze and unfortunately it looks like the only way to really get this tie wrap thing off of here is to just pry it off completely which is going to be difficult upside down and hard for you to see but that whole thing's just going to come out with the right kind of pressure exerted upon it like that all right which means that now I can just take the seat out.
poles aren't lining up. That's weird. It's always something. Right now I think we got it. Definitely something angling. We got this to go in. You see that? That's an excellent stopper. All right, now we'll slide it all the way back. Imagine I'll split off parts of this and speed it up because this is pretty boring. left for the plastic caps to go in. And I'd like to think that should be semi-obvious. You know, in fact, was dose. All right, so here's the old seat. Mostly in here is where you can see that the leather was kind of worn. Um, not horrible, but if we go check this one out, you'll see that the leather, leather is, generally speaking, in better shape. So, here we go. All right, there's one. And now we're gonna do the driver's side and call it a night. What's left to do is put this sucker back on and we're good to go. I hope that's the torque specs. And that is the process to take out and replace your Audi TT seats, pretty simple, four bolts. Remember to disconnect the battery. Uh, don't jerk up on the seats when you pull them out because you got those connectors underneath. I uh, may have some news about the seats that I took out. It's possible that somebody was interested in buying them. So that's good. Um, you'll have to wait until the vlog for the next day or today or when I'm actually filming this for that. In the meantime, like the video, right? Thanks if you enjoyed it. If you learned something about the cars, especially like the video, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And of course, if you want to be notified, you know what to do. Just ring that bell.